Great. Um, got some stuff here that uh, I'm going to be hooking up in a little bit. Um, I've seen people take apart microwave ovens and stuff, and I never really realized what was going on in a microwave. I haven't messed with them. Um, my buddy had one in his truck, and it was junk, and he said, oh, take whatever you want out of it. And uh, this transformer, I never really looked at one before, has some very eh, fine wire. I'd say it's it looks like maybe close to 30 gauge, many, many wraps. And then this one, it looks like, I'd say that that was 18 gauge wire. Nice thick winding, and this is what goes in there. Nice, uh, just some thin wires here. And on this side, um, I just never messed with this stuff before, but I, I have some ideas for it now that I'm seeing what we got. That the fine wire, many turns, I, I don't know which one would be the primary or secondary. I'm going to call this one down here a primary, and we'll call this one a secondary because that's the way I'm going to operate it. Um, so you got this one lead coming in here, and then the other wire connects to the chassis here. I guess it just goes to ground. So that's, these are connections I'm going to be making. And then we got these wires here that are just a couple of loops around the center there. I'm probably not going to mess around with that. Don't, not at the moment. Um, don't really need that. Okay, and you got this. Uh, diode here. Um, let me see. Let me see a picture of what this is. Be quiet, kitty. Um, oh, it says HVR 1X4 um, SK3915. I haven't looked it up yet. I'm going to look it up in a minute before I hook some stuff up and see how many volts this diode is and what it can handle. Um, got a nice cap. Um, 0.9 microfarad, 2000 volts AC. So, I never really thought about uh, these big caps and you know what could we use them for, but uh, if we come up with something here, there are a lot of broken microwaves out there, a good source for parts. Um, and then another thing that caught my eye, um, this is just a short vid showing this stuff. I'm going to make a vid here uh, once I get this hooked up to do what I want it to do. Um, this AC induction motor with a fan on it spins real easy. Um, I haven't messed with one of these since I was a kid when we had the phonographs with these running. The platter, and it's got... Uh, really fine wire on it. I'd say um, maybe finer than what's on there. Maybe a little bit higher than 30 gauge on it. Um, so that's going to be a high inductance. But what interested me, and I never thought about it when I looked at this when I was a kid, was the actual flux path on these things. And if we look there, it's a it's like a very thin point in the path. Um, and then you have this uh, copper wrapped around like a shunt. So that must help block what's going on there. Um, and see it's very thin, this, this, these little paths. So it's separating one side from the other of some sort, but not completely. But uh, Tesla liked these uh, AC induction motors. I, I don't know if this is exactly what he would have in mind for stuff uh, concerning what we're trying to do but it just gave me some ideas according to what I read uh, of stuff that he did that I might be able to come up with some things to do with this but the project I'm going to do here is we're going to do the igniter circuit and uh, I'll show you the coil that I'm going to use for the high induction. I don't have it here right now. It's uh, in the other room. Um, going to use that to charge a cap. Maybe not this one, uh, but we'll, we'll try some. And it's going to send that cap across this large chunk of copper down here. 
and we're going to take the output of what I call the secondary, this many, many windings of thin wire of this big transformer. And we're going to pulse that and get this fan going. It's a 120 volt fan. We're going to use 12 volts to charge up the cap to pulse across there. And then we're going to use that to just run the fan. Just a simple experiment. Just some, I just want to see what's going on with it. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to do with the diode quite yet. I don't know if I'm going to use it here in this circuit. But uh, give me a little bit and I'll put something together. And uh, I'll show it. Alright, see you in a bit.